Today is Halloween, at least the day that this is uploaded. Hello, all other people from the future. Hopefully we aren't all dead yet. While this isn't the Halloween video that I had hoped to make, I will be covering the dusty air ghost of a machine pistol from many a year ago. Ooh, spooky. So enjoy, happy Halloween, and uh, be safe, my dudes. Ah, yes, who remembers the Tech-9? A little machine pistol in Phantom Forces that, much like a supernova that destroys many planetary bodies in one large burst, fires 20 rounds of just very angry 9mm into somebody's body in Roblox, of course. And hey, as we're getting into this, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any other silly, goofy ideas, make sure to comment them below because commenting helps boost me in the algorithm and helps keep me motivated to keep making videos. I, but yeah, enjoy the video. The Tech 9 is honestly something that I've forgotten about for a very, very long time until I was just digging around the other day for stuff that I was just like, oh, whatever, let's see what I want to use. And then I came across this again and I'm like, oh yeah. Like I said, the Tech 9 is just a machine pistol that fires a very rapid burst at 1500 RPM and it just shreds through targets. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. And it's honestly something that, a lot like a lot of the other guns in this game that are kind of older, is just not really that used anymore, That I, as far as I can tell. I mean, it's rare that you're going to find people maining secondaries, but like, genuinely, I have had so much fun over the last like hour or two using this, and I was like, I, I, I have to share this with the people. I have just general stuff on this, you're never really going to get no recoil on it, so it's literally just put on whatever you want. But the stats are actually a little bit doo-doo poo-poo, I'm going to be honest with you. 17 minimum damage, that's, that's bad. 24 maximum damage, also uh, pretty bad. Typical. 1.4 headshot multiplier and 1.0 torso multiplier, but what makes up for it is the 1500 RPM, which if you can't tell by the copious amount of kills that I've already gotten, it looks something like this. And it just, you win. You, you you get the dub. It's one of a few guns where I can literally just wander around and hold left click and I'm able to get a bunch of kills. And as a player that's not particularly that good, it like, I, I don't understand. It's good. It's fun. I mean, I do understand. I have a brain that can process information, in fact, and I have eyeballs and neurons that, uh, that let me detect these things. It's true. But as a proud man with a 1.6 KD after uh, over 200 uh, <laughs> ranks, it's it's a fun little thing that, that, uh, to try and use. Unless Lord Geralt 12 comes in with the M4, of course. Hi. What? <laughs> uh, I thought I was going to sneak up on bro. Recoil on something like this, as you can imagine, at 1500 RPM is um, substantial, to say the least. But considering what the Tech 9 is, it's really not as bad as it kind of seems on the surface, because for the most part, it's going to be something that you're going to want to get way up close and be able to use. And now I wait for this guy to come towards me. And there he is. No. Oh. Ooh, bro also has a machine pistol. Very cool. But like I was saying about kind of having to be up close to people, it's going to lead to a play style where you're pretty much going to want to play on smaller maps and you're going to want to know how to maneuver pretty well. Movement is going to be 100% key in order to be able to actually use this effectively, considering that most maps are a good bit on the larger side and if there's like any range at all, someone's going to be able to outgun you pretty easily, actually. But if you're up close like this, hi, goodbye. I still got him. I, it, it, it counts because I still got him. It's okay. Ooh, we've got a camper. We've got a little camper, baby. Ooh, yes, we do. Oh, he died. I'll have to check in a second because I don't remember what rank this is unlocked at, but it's basically like a low rank version of the M231. The gun that if you hold left click, your bullets go straight up into the air. So if we compare that here, we can see that the M231, which is right here, is rank 123, and the Tech 9 is rank 50. So like less than half. But you still get like the same fire rate and you still get the general idea of left click, recoil up, and kill. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Ooh, that's even more unfortunate. As far as maps go, you're probably going to want to stick to things like Bazaar and Castle Keep that have a lot more kind of CQC areas. Since at most any distance, you're really going to struggle to actually use this effectively. And if you play on those closer range maps, a lot of times people are just going to wander into you. At least on the surface, I guess. Bro, people got to put their headphones on, man. It is literally just too easy to sit here, if I can, if I can find the corner real quick, and just listen. Here comes one now. Yeah! Now, there's a little bit of distance, I guess, on that that I can actually use it at. Woo! Hold up. Got a little bit of a battle taking place right here. Ooh, yes, sir. That is an easy kill right there. I uploaded a video on the Honey Badger yesterday, which was a lot of fun to kind of go back and revisit a gun that I used to use a long time ago. And I'm having a lot of fun going through some of these guns that are just kind of like older, that used to be meta, things that I just don't see much anymore. And I'm starting to realize that, like, holy crap, there's so much stuff that's, like, actually really, really good. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. The reload time really isn't great on this either, I'm noticing. But, I mean, it allows you to get, like, enough kills. It, it works. It's functionable. I mean, I, I don't know. It's cool. I think that I'm gonna have a lot more fun with this than I would with something like the, uh, like the Micro Uzi, I guess. Which, if I can go to it here, is at level 68, almost 20 levels higher. And, frankly, it's just, um... Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit more hectic. Hmm, interesting. I've gotten a kill with it. 
Hmm, interesting. I missed half of my shots. Honestly, the machine pistol category just in general is kind of fun, actually. Especially if you have like a faster play style, it's, it's gonna be a blast. Before I get too carried away, let me switch back to the Tech-9 here. The Tech-9, I mean, it's it's definitely a blast from the past, and I'm probably gonna use it for another five minutes until I find something else that excites me more. But for now, I'm just gonna have a grand old time running around with my 1500 RPM secondary. That allows me to get really stupid kills, like uh, like what I'm gonna do right... <laughs> that allows me to get really stupid kills, something a little bit like this. Oh yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's just a good time, and I'm glad that I found it again. So yeah, it's a revenant. Yeah, that's, that's bye bye, bite it's gonna bite demon. me. All right, everybody picked revenant. Rev revenant, FNAF. <laughs> everybody pick uh, Ted, uh, Freddy Fazbear. Did everyone get purple guy? <laughs> <laughs>